Hello, my friends. I welcome you to Coffee with Reverend Clifton Matura. I invite you to sit with me as we spend some time in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, studying His Word and sharing in a cup of coffee. I invite Miss Elishiba Bajnat to lead us in singing, Come, now is the time to worship. Thank you, Miss Elishiba, for leading us. Our scripture reading comes to us from the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verse 7. Let us listen to the word of Almighty God. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken it off, and jumped into the water. Here ends our reading. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading, hearing, and understanding of this his most holy word. Amen. Seven of Jesus' disciples were fishing, but they had caught nothing. 
The Lord Jesus was standing on the shore looking at them, but they did not recognize him. Jesus tells them to cast their nets on the right side of the boat and they will catch some. When the disciples obeyed the instructions of Jesus, they had a large catch. The disciple John, recognizing that it was Jesus, told Peter it was the Lord. Peter jumped into the water and swam towards Jesus. These two disciples, John and Peter, set good examples for us to follow. Firstly, like John, we must recognize Jesus as Lord. We must recognize Jesus as Lord. John chapter 21 verse 7 parts A and B states, Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. John, listening to the voice of the person standing on the shore, recognized that the voice sounded like that of Jesus. But when they obeyed the instruction that was given, and the nets were full of fish, he was convinced that the person standing on the shore was the Lord Jesus Christ. John knew that not too long ago, they had a similar experience with Jesus. Convinced that it was Jesus, he shouted to Peter, It is the Lord. John recognized Jesus as his resurrected Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, do you recognize Jesus as Lord? When we recognize Jesus as Lord, it means that we see Jesus as our deity. As our deity, Jesus is deserving of all our worship, adoration, and praise. When Jesus is your deity or Lord, it means that your worship will be directed to him and him alone. When Jesus is your deity or Lord, it means that everything you do will be seen as an offering to your deity. When Jesus is your deity or Lord, it means that everything you own will be seen as belonging to Jesus and Jesus alone. My friends, we must recognize Jesus as our Lord. Secondly, like Peter, we must hurry to Jesus. We must hurry to Jesus. John chapter 21 verse 7 parts C to E states, As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him and jumped into the water. When Peter heard him say that it is the Lord, he jumped into the water and hurried into the presence of his Lord Jesus Christ. Peter did not delay. Peter could not wait for the boat to be brought to land. Peter went to Jesus immediately. My dear friend, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus calls us to come to him. Will you, my friend, hurry into his presence and welcome him into your heart and life before it is too late? While we are alive, we have the opportunity to come to Jesus. Now is the time to decide to accept Jesus as your Lord and live for Jesus. Tomorrow could be too late. We must not delay in coming to Jesus. If you have not yet made that commitment to accept Jesus as your Lord, I encourage you to do so today before it is too late. All you have to do is to repent of your sins and invite him into your life and live your life in obedience to his word. Today, my friends, we learn two important lessons from the word of the Lord. Firstly, we must recognize Jesus as Lord. Secondly, we must hurry into the presence of Jesus. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I now invite Miss Elishiba Bajnad to sing to God's glory and our inspiration. Your eyes on the sparrow and your hand it comforts me from the ends of the earth to the depths of my heart let your mercy and strength be seen Thank you, Miss Elishiba. Let us come to Almighty God in prayer. Let us pray. 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, your Son. We acknowledge Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We thank you, Father, for raising him from the dead so that we could all have eternal life. We pray at this moment for our world. We ask your God to help us in our fight against COVID-19. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would let it be that this virus known as COVID-19 will be a thing of the past in our land. Help those who are sick throughout our land. Heal them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Comfort those who mourn and bless your people everywhere. For we pray in the powerful and precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Friends, I thank you this morning for joining me for Coffee with Reverend Clifton Matura. I encourage you to stay home and stay safe. God bless you, my friend. Cheers.